Hello, welcome back to Pure Portugal TV. Um, I'm today we're going to be talking about a really exciting opportunity um, regarding cooperatives and a potential experience or potential option for you guys to um, join part of a cooperative and how George, who is uh, very knowledgeable in that area and hopefully can fill us in, can help us with a bit more information as to how we could um, all join together or a group of people could join together to potentially buy a business uh, and combine our experiences. Um, so, George, hi. Thank you very much for joining us today. Hi. Thank you for, for, yeah, to, for the invitation yeah, to be here. Oh, it's all. Cool. It's great. It's good to have someone who knows about these things here. <laughs> so uh, you are the, you're the person who can help us, uh, if I'm right, in you, un, you help people to create cooperatives. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm currently the president of a cooperative called uh, Minga Montemor. Okay. It's, uh, the website is mingamontemor.pt and uh, it stays in a small town called Montemar Novo near Evora. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, then uh, I'm, I give uh, courses and consultancy on how to create cooperatives and fantastic. how to manage. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Great. That sounds fantastic. So have you been doing this for a long time yourself? Uh, I started uh, these two years. We started a cooperative five years ago, and then wow. finally it, it got better. I mean, more stable, and and so our experience. Uh, well, there were a lot of people interested in our model, in our experience. So we we did the course in different places of Portugal. Now everything is a bit stopped, but uh, so now mm. I'm, I'm I'm giving consultancy directly to groups. Uh, that are being formed throughout the country, basically. I think it's really helpful. It's great to, to hear about something like this because I know my, I've helped to form a cooperative myself um, in central Portugal a long time ago now, quite a few years ago now. But I know that before we did it, it felt like a really confusing experience and you just don't know even where to begin. It can feel really overwhelming, can't it, as to how to even start to do something like that. So... Um, I think this is definitely something that people are going to need some hand-holding and some help with, for sure. Yeah, especially not so much the bureaucratic part, which uh, it's a relatively okay to do, mm. but rather rather the model, model of management, decision-making, and um, how to understand uh, what is a cooperative in the end, like how to be used and how individual, let's say, interests uh, are conjugated with collective interests. So uh, it's a very different from a company in terms of philosophy. So that's, I think, some, sometimes the tricky part. And then also the financial model, how to sustain the cooperative understanding, which are the core costs, what are not, and uh, then accordingly designing yeah, the model. So yeah, basically yeah. and uh, indeed uh, i f we felt that difficulty when we were starting and uh, mm. i mean we passed through the things uh, pretty much uh, experimenting not necessarily knowing a lot so we know that it's 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 good or it makes it easier if someone just tells you the steps or for sure or just... yeah absolutely mm. and especially if it's a group potential people who maybe don't all know each other very very well straight from the from the outset um, I think it's good to have someone there even as a mediator, huh? just to help to sort of level things and, and, and help to sort of plan things out. It's good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so um, I'll explain a bit. You may, you may see Sandra on the screen here and she's possibly frozen <laughs> as a picture, possibly not because the uh, internet connection for Sandra, unfortunately, is really bad. So what we made a decision to do was to make a recording with myself and George, and we can talk about the um, concept of the cooperative and how he can help. Um, Sandra is still here and we can type questions to her if we have anything that specifically comes up and she can type a message back, which I can then read. So it sounds a little bit complex, but we'll get there. So um, that's why we're not ignoring Sandra. I don't think we're ignoring you. <laughs> uh, so, so I don't know how much you know, George, about the concept for Sandra's business. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a it's a cafe, an organic shop, and you know, it's a beautiful space. I've seen it myself, and it's absolutely beautiful. And her idea when she came to us to Pure Portugal was to look at 
helping people a cooperative to form to buy the business effectively and then continue to run it um and that's obviously where you got introduced to us to as, as someone who can help the people who are interested to go through this process um do you know much about the, the the idea of the business itself and how that how you can help with that i don't know have you spoken to sandra much about it so far or we spoke a bit some weeks ago so maybe if you could refresh it uh, i would be useful yeah okay so so basically we're seeing here like so sandra's just saying that the the whole point of the cafe and the and the business itself is to promote permaculture and arts which is absolutely fantastic um so it would be really great if there are a group of people these could be i think i'm right george jump in if i'm getting this completely wrong because i may be making it up as i go along but i think um these people can be people who already know each other or they could just be groups of separate individuals who want to come in and and propose their interest if you like um and then we we can try and help to facilitate this as a group and uh, to join together is that right yeah the a cooperative by philosophy is open door meaning that anyone can join uh, yeah. if you know or you don't know that's not the topic it's whether the person wants to do something that uh, it's within the the scope of action of the cooperative so in the end yes it's rather to man to provide um let's say a service to the members uh, uh, to that uh, or groups of members and so it can have a very broad um, scope but then there are individual projects inside the cooperative so that are run by a group of people or individual people and that have their own they make the decisions about those projects so i mean it also depends a lot on how you design i will talk more about our model um because we wanted to have a very decentralized model yeah very yeah. and and open to anyone in our municipality of any mm -hmm. age or knowing or not knowing us but that needs basically to do invoicing and their economic acti activity formally uh, either you have your own company or you have like Recibos uh, Verdes it's a Portuguese thing or you mm -hmm. have um, or you can be part of a cooperative mm -hmm. so uh, you can also be a part of an association which has also more limited scope of action cooperatives yeah. are more connected to actually producing and selling stuff yes um so basically in our in our concept yeah it was more like if you are a, i mean a person that is a web designer a farmer an artisan whoever like an artisan that needs to sell products in shops uh a web developer that needs to invoice to some client uh, for some work that he did. Uh, they can do this whole process through the cooperative, have access to, uh, let's say, a professional company benefits, mm -hmm. like having an accountant, all these things. Mm -hmm. And instead of you of you doing a loan, which has a lot of cost, so you have to pay a loan the accountant, you have to pay sometimes, if you have a company, uh, the minimum uh, social security uh for a worker so these all together are costs that uh, makes more difficult to start the business i mean it ah. goes to 400 euros a month or something like yeah this. and so, it can feel quite scary as well, can't it you know for some people they may have not been in portugal very long or they may have never run a business before and but have this dream to do it and i think to share that knowledge and to share that worry if you like in the and the responsibility is a really great you know that takes a lot of pressure off of people yeah indeed and uh, also people don't know so much about the tax system or mm. all the accounting system it's not that mm. you need to be an expert but of course it helps if you know a bit if you know a bit so uh, then people don't have to concern about bureaucratic things like the normal bureaucratic with tax payments and all these things social security yeah. and so on because the cooperative does this uh, it's just one person and does for all and uh, I mean, we have one accountant for many businesses. We have mm. really many businesses from cosmetics to yeah, farmers, architects. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, they, they, on their invoicing, they don't have any monthly payment. They, on their invoicing, they give 5% of the value to the cooperative so that we can pay the accountant, the treasurer, the communication team, and so on. Okay. So we, 
so basically that's our model so just to say that yes like uh, um, it can go for many groups you have like a group that has their personal brand on, on of cosmetics um, mm -hmm. it's uh, a bar so they have their business they have their laboratory but the process of certifying the production the process of certifying the laboratory and so on uh came did they did everything through the cooperative and for two mm -hmm. years while they were exploring their products and improving and trying they were going to fairs and they could mm -hmm. go through the markets and fairs through the cooperative vat number and the counting system so basically they were not making so much money if they would have to pay to have an open company for two years they would have spent thousands of year, euros and like this it uh, was much cheaper flexible and they still could do their thing and uh, try the product find clients uh, thinking of investing more now making the thing all certified and legal to sell in, in pharmacies and so on so it, it's a bit like this it's uh but it's their group it's their project they decide their prices the products and no one else from the cooperative has anything to yes. say about it yeah but you all yeah exactly it's not, I mean, it's such a nice model, isn't it? It's a really, you know, it's what everybody working together in that way is really makes life so much easier as well. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I know I put a post on Pure Portugal this morning just to say that we were going to be having this talk today and to let people know that, you know, there was going to be some information about it. And the reaction was amazing. We've got so many people who were really interested in this, in the, in the, in this specific shop, you know, organic shop cafe project together. Um, but also in just the whole theory of it, I think, is is great. Um, some of those people maybe are, have less experience than others or have different experience in one area of business and different in another. Um, and I'm sure it means that everybody could come, if you can all make an agreement, everyone can come together and bring their own piece to the table, if you like, um, yeah. which is just... Am I right in saying, it? Is it three uh, people are the minimum to, to form a cooperative? Is that correct? The, but you can have more. Yes, like uh, the minimum. If you have only three founding members or members uh, in the in the um, social organs, we call it organs uh, sociais. That means the the board, the fiscal council, and the and the table of the share of the general assembly, a mesa da assembleia yeah. geral. So basically. You only need three mem three members, but then your cooperative can go up only up to twenty members. Okay. If then you want, then if you want to have more than uh, twenty members in the cooperative, you have to have at least eight persons in the in these social organs. Okay, yeah. so at least you yeah. have to be eight, and that's it. And uh, you can okay. Uh, start. Yeah. Okay, and uh, so I I think I, again. I hope I'm right in saying this, um, but again, shout at me if I'm wrong. So Sandra, um, you can possibly type an answer as well to this if you can hear me okay. Um, we, what we would effectively be looking at doing is we get a group of people who are interested. This is our initial, the initial step here. So for this business in particular that we're talking about, which is obviously Sandra's business, we would gather together a group of people who are interested in potentially forming a cooperative who can then have a meeting and decide, you know, you can then talk a little bit more detail about the ins and outs of the specifics of that business. Um, and then am I right in saying, so for example, say five people came through this process and said, yeah, we're really interested. We really want to buy it and buy into it. The cost of that business would be divided by the five people. Is that, am I, is that as simple as it works out effectively? So everyone would buy an equal share in? Um you can organize in many ways um, okay. um i would say uh so if you have a, a an area and it has different uh so i see a restaurant a, a piece of land where i imagine you produce stuff uh then if you have uh, you have this workshop lounge the berry i don't know what it is uh the bakery oh no mm -hmm. uh, yeah the bakery um and the artistic projects, and eventually, I don't know if you have uh, facilities for people to sleep, so for residencies and so on. So I would say, first of all, that each project should be taught individually and should be taught um, with its own economic uh, 
sust uh, sustainability. So, and then each project could have a group working and de deciding upon it because, uh, well, that's one thing. Um, the first thing is in order to have a cooperative open, it it is uh, you need to pay an accountant. That's the only fixed amount of money that you have to pay to anyone to have a, a cooperative open. Mm -hmm. So, starting from this, and second thing is, a cooperative in Portugal can be multi-sectoral, can have many sectors. Our cooperative, Minga, is an integral cooperative. It can do, it is, it has not all the sectors, but it allows to do everything. It has four sectors. Mm -hmm. So, um, so the so the sec so the first thing is this payment of the accountant has to be assured by the group of people somehow. Okay as a quota, as a share of the sellings, whatever you define, but it yeah. has to be paid. Secondly, the paper, the, there is a position in the cooperative, the treasurer, that can do volunteering work, but you can also receive money. It's a kind of important position. So yeah. it, it's good to be relatively professional. It's not a full-time job. Uh, well organized is just a couple of hours per, per month or some hours mm -hmm. per month depends mm -hmm. in, on the size of your business but in the beginning is not so much so basically if you have uh, many different sectors once it started even if you are a carpenter a gardener uh, the, whatever you can then invoice through the cooperative and that doesn't yeah. mean first of all this doesn't mean that you have that space okay Secondly, then it, that can be the project of that space where Sandra he is, okay? And that project will have either a rent or paying uh, something, etc. Now, mm -hmm. inside the cooperative, there will be a group of people interested in running that project and being mm -hmm. responsible for all the legal matters and economic matters associated mm -hmm. with that project. Mm -hmm. Now how these people will organize then we can discuss and it can be in many different ways okay yeah so I, we would need to go into the deta detail of the agreement of the trespass i think that's what's happening if i understood correctly so there will be a price that has to be paid to save the space yeah. probably a rent or not i don't know if it's space is rented so yes, then, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So imagine that you have a rent of five hundred, and you have five different projects of the same size in terms of space area. Then you would simply say each project has to contribute with hundred euros. Okay. Of this, yeah. Of yeah. this part, and then you run your business, doing good or bad. You have to pay hundred euros to <laughs> to the cooperative for the rent payment, plus uh, some month some money for the accountant. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like the thing divided by this amount of people. So let's make mm -hmm. a very simple example. We have these five people, as you said, mm -hmm. and uh, we for, the only project is the this space right now. Maybe in the future more people come in, and there is this five hundred rent. Uh, so and then we have more two hundred euros per month for the accountant. Mm -hmm. So each of the five people, if they would pay a quota of forty euros. Mm -hmm. It would make 200 euros and mm -hmm. and the accountant would be paid. If each person would have its own accountant, each person would pay 200 euros. It would be a total of a thousand euros. So yeah. we go from a thousand to 200 euros. Yeah. Then if more members come in, you can reduce the quota or you can quick keep the quota uh, and pay more things like having a communication team, paying the treasurer, paying whatever yes. you define yeah. as a cooperative to do the central bureaucratic jobs or the yeah. central communication whatever you define as a team as, a, as the members define okay, okay but then each project uh let's say inside the, the cooperative then they can have also access to so to the invoicing system so from mm -hmm. that moment on each member will have its own uh selling point in the in that place and the invoice or we can do in many different ways but basically from that moment on with the 40 euros plus 100 euros rent let's mm -hmm. say the, mm -hmm. is each group is doing their thing and, mm -hmm. and running so mm -hmm. okay um it then. sounds really great it sounds like a such a it sounds like a really great opportunity i think for a group of people or 
uh, a load of separate individuals who can run their own system together. You know, I think it sounds like a really good idea. Um, so I think, uh, Sandra, if you can type an answer maybe just quickly now, maybe the best way we do this going forward is, I think people have got a general now understanding from you, George, thank you so much, of how a cooperative might look and how they how the how the involvement might work within you know within this business specifically um and then maybe we now figure out and i can post in line with this video how and where people can set, send their interest to to register their interest which i guess sandra and yourself can work between you on um to then arrange whether it will be an in-person meeting or an online meeting or a combination of the two for people to all ask their own questions to you and to see if they can then take their interest further. Um, Sandra, is that something, is that right? Does that sound like that's something, am I on the right track? Okay, yeah, that's good. So so if we, if I, um, I mean, I will leave this with you guys, obviously to decide a date or a way to do, to arrange, you know, when the timing might work. Um, but I guess if we do something fairly soon, I can post a, I can post an email address or something in line with this video, so we can then register interest for people who are who want to find out more. And then obviously, if they think that the process is going to work for them, they can stay in it and look to continue. Um, does that sound all right with you, George? As well, does that sound good? Yeah, it sounds good. Um, well, but. Um because I'm, I'm I'm having a lot of uh, requests and um, it's not a problem, but I'm asking a donation uh, okay. for, for the participant. I'm doing this professionally as well. So, yeah. um, and I can give support and basically what the people do is whenever they knew they want a new meeting, they contact me, we settle a new meeting. Okay, uh, and, okay. And it goes so I, maybe then the best way is um, Sandra, I have your advert here, and obviously we can update the information so that it's all relevant to this cooperative idea. Um, and we can ask people to fill out the contact form on the advert to contact contact Sandra initially, and then she can she can sort of collaborate everything together and arrange to um, contact yourself for any other information and to hold another meeting about it. Um, George, I'm just going to quickly read out a little bit of information about the about what the actual business is so people have a better idea um, so that they understand a little bit more about what we're talking about. So basically, this is a it's such a beautiful place. It's down in Lagos and it's an organic shop and an activity space and a um, pizzeria. I think that's right, Sandra. Uh, and a cafe. It's a bit of everything, really. It's a absolutely amazing space. Um, so it. This is a this is an opportunity, obviously, for people who want to either run a business because they've always dreamt in doing this, or have some sort of great input they can put towards the business like this. Maybe it's their own little area that they can um, work within. So it might be they can run an activity or workshop space, and somebody else can help with the cafe side of it. Um, but we can. What we will do is put up. I will make sure that we make this advert all together with Sandra's details on and um, more details about the projects and how it all breaks down. And I'll share that in line with this video so that everybody can see it. And then if you're interested, then you can fill out the contact form on the on the link to the advert and it will go straight to Sandra who can then help to get everybody together maybe. And you can all have a have a good discussion with George about how um, how to go forward. I think that sounds really good. Sounds really exciting, George. And, and for you, from your perspective as you know, the holding the space as a for cooperatives, not just this one, of course, but other ones, I assume as well. If people are interested, if they if this is something that of interest to people from the from the cooperative side or for their own business side, I guess they can get in touch with you as well separately as a separate entity to talk to you about that. Yeah. Also, I also give uh, support for like uh, let's say local currencies projects and uh, businesses yeah. as a business. Oh, amazing. Business. So yeah, can be other projects, nothing to do, agroforestry, other stuff. So anyway. Fantastic. <laughs> it sounds great. I mean, you're into so many, we should have a talk of ourselves, I think, separately about the other things you're doing. It sounds really interesting. Are you in the Algarve yourself as well? Sorry, say again. You are in the Algarve as well, are you or? No, we are in Alentejo. Oh, Alentejo, okay. Sorry, okay. Yeah. 
Okay. I recommend to check our website and. Uh, can you type and, it in here and I can share yes. it? <clears throat> if you type it into the chat, I can share it for you. Thank you. That's great. I'll share it now so everybody can pick it up. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pop it up on the screen now for people to see. There we go. There you are. Um, okay, okay great. Sandra, I hope every, that sounds okay with, um, with you. And um, obviously, I'm sorry that your internet connection was <laughs> didn't want to play today. Um, but what we will do, I will speak to you separately once we've finished this recording. And obviously, if we can talk to you separately on another day, uh, you know, with, with when you have better connection, great. If not, then we can work this all out by the phone and um, we can then get your advert completed so that it's got all of the information on it that's relevant to the cooperative. And then people can get in touch with you and register their interest as soon as possible. I'll try and make sure this, this um, all goes out ASAP for you. Thank you so much, George, for your time as well. So again, Thank just to recap, if anybody's interested in the, in the concept of a cooperative and how George can maybe help you as separate individuals with that, you can um, get in touch on this website that you can see at the bottom of the screen. And that will, you'll be able to find out a bit more about what George is up to and you can get in touch with him there as well. And thank you very much, Sandra, for being here, albeit, <laughs> albeit silently. <laughs> thank you very much, all the same. And uh, hopefully we can chat to you at some point soon. Thank you so much, George. Yeah, Great to you. see you. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye.